Yo, what is going on, guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, aka The Clock Masters. Today, I'm going to be doing a movie review for Ad Astra. Now, this is not going to be any spoiler, just my brief thoughts on this film. I got quite a little bit to say about this movie. So, I'm going to read you the synopsis of this film from Google because I'm there. A lot better than me when it comes to these things. Ad Astra, a movie directed by James Gray. 30 years ago, Clifford McBride led a voyage into deep space, but the ship and crew were never heard from again. Now his son, a fearless astronaut, must embark on a daring mission to Neptune to uncover the truth about his missing father and a mysterious power surge that threatens the stability of the universe. So this movie focuses on Brad Pitt's character by the name of Roy, and Throughout this entire film, we get in this, it's, it's a very confusing movie. That's all I can say. It's like you get to see things from Roy's perspective. And, and it's, he's just so, you know, he's forced into situations where he has to be, you know, to show no emotion and to always keep his composure and to always just focus on the mission at hand. Always focus on what's going on with this film. Now, before I get into talk a little bit more about that, let me just give how I felt about this movie. Now, I didn't know anything about this movie going into it. Like, just watch the trailer. I was literally sitting down in the theater watching the trailer on my phone because I didn't know anything about this film, what was going on and what I was getting myself into. So there's still so many things about Ad Astra that I can't even begin to even figure out about it yet the movie was so confusing to me and there's an underlying message in this movie a deeper hidden message or messages within this movie some i was able to kind of figure out but this is so much stuff uncovered in this film that i still have yet to be revealed to me which is why i understand shout out to my friend gage masterson uh aka multiverse creations here on youtube um did an instagram review about the film and he said it took him a couple days to kind of figure out what he wanted to say and i can understand his perspective now about that because Coming out this theater, during the whole time as I'm watching this, I'm trying to piece things together, trying to piece, uh, you know, parts of the plot together, trying to piece parts of, you know, just how the flow of the story is going, where, you know, how it started and where, where we are and where we're going with this film and how we're going to end this movie. One thing I can say about this movie is a tale between a father and a son and the stra his estranged father and his child and living up to a legacy and also trying to uncover some hidden demons about certain things and a um, couple things to note again the song the song the song choices and the just the sounds and the lack thereof in certain scenes where there's just just no sound just silence really emphasizes a lot what's going on with the film and what was going on in that scene there were scenes where they were on the moon that you know that just really they really just u utilize the sound so well um, during those scenes on the moon and they you know and what I liked about it too is that it's like a near future so a lot of the technology used in this movie it wasn't like a stereotypical space film or a stereotypical space movie where everyone goes to space and they do this and they encounter aliens and then they fight and then they do this and then they have the really ridiculous technology that we not even we don't even have you know here yet um, but this movie utilizes technology in a more modern and realistic way something that we can actually see in the near future so a lot of the space spacecraft a lot of the devices a lot of the the areas in this movie were more realistic and more tangible more uh, uh reachable uh things that we can actually see within the next uh 30 to 40 years or even earlier actually also and i've, I've been mentioning realism and realistic stuff this movie is very realistic as far as expectations about this about space about outer space um travel distance how long it takes to get certain places uh, uh, you know, how it affects the body, how it affects the mind, how it affects you as a person, especially if you're going on a trip by yourself or with people and how just how things just happen with that. You know, there's just so much uh, realism within this movie and it was replicated in a very good way. Brad Pitt does a great job to, uh, you know, give us those emotions and, you know, he does a lot. He doesn't have too many lines at all. There's some narrations throughout this film that was narrated by Brad Pitt and you can kind of get a little bit more understanding of what's going on with the movie. But he, overall, it's just more of a, of, I would say a lot of the movie is pretty silent for the most part with, with a few lines here and there, a few th uh, things from Brad Pitt being said by him, but it was done in a very good way. It was done in a way that I was still able to sort of follow along with the story. Because again, I know there's so much messages to this film. It's like Inception. You got to watch it quite a few times to really get what's going on. And even then, you still won't really go, uh, know what's going on with this movie. Unlike Interstellar, which is also another great film, this movie, like I said, really focuses on, you know, the duty before self, I guess. You know, it focuses on a man's journey 
to, to, to really find out who he is. He doesn't really know who he is anymore at a certain point. Like, he gets to, you know, granted, Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar does experience similar things as well, um, alongside Anne Hathaway and along, you know, his crew members. But as we're going on in this film, we're seeing, you know, Brad Pitt just try to really know, figure out who he is, what he's about, and, and, and try to come to certain conclusions about himself, about the world, and how he views the world, and how people view certain things, and where the world is going. You see certain cycles repeat, you know, for instance, certain things that we would do on Earth, you go to space, and you go to, uh, to the moon, and you're still doing it the same way. So, it, it has a lot of underlying messages that humans need to be better, that we need to be better, that we actually truly need to evolve and be better people. So there's so many deep messages within this. Cinematography, basic checkpoint. Cinematography, great as well. There's certain angles that really emphasize certain scenes, like certain close-up shots on Brad Pitt that really brought out certain emotions with his eyes. And you can see him like twitching in certain movements, trying to hold back his emotions or when asked a personal question, or even, you know, his face, just his whole composure was able to tell the story. He pretty much had the same face throughout, but it was, it, it, it was the same face, but it wasn't at the same time because it was able to communicate so many different messages with the audience. And again, the soundtrack really accommodated a lot of the scenes and the story. I can't help stress that enough. The movie is very, it's, it's, sort of not sort of a slow burn but it is a slow burn the movie's very slow it's slow paced it's, it, it kind of feels that it drags on at certain points but again not in a way where you just want to leave the theater it, it it drags on in a certain point where you're curious to see what happens next where things are going to go and that's what i'm saying from when i started the movie to where we were in the middle and towards the end i'm trying to figure out where this movie's going where we're going to end are we going to have a cliche ending are we going to have um you know some type of crazy plot twist or some type of crazy you know space invasion thing like where are we going with this story so yes it's slow burning yes it's kind of slow and if you're looking for a weekend movie like a fun movie to go hang out with your friends i wouldn't recommend really watching this movie because if that's what you were looking for but if you're looking for if you got some time during the week like i did and you really don't have anything else to do with your time and you want to see a great film you can go and watch this movie because it, it tells a great story and it uses art styles in so many different ways that are really amazing especially uh for this time and age like just the simplest of things the the way how they use shadows in certain scenes and the way how they use color in certain scenes and the lack thereof in certain scenes it just really uh, uh really just shows how much work they put into this movie and again i can't stress it enough the soundtrack very minimalistic in certain areas but just the way they use sounds is very cool i like how they replicated how sound travels in space because it doesn't really travel in space so you know in star wars you see boo 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 you can hear it but in, in you know in this movie you really see that that that's not the case so um certain cert, you know certain things that got on the mark and was very good and i appreciated it um as a science junkie and a person who loves science and uh space movies and space films and i like a lot of those movies but i can ramble on and on and on what would i rate this movie i would rate this movie a solid eight out of ten i would rate this movie like a eight somewhere like i'm 80 percent uh because again it's a very slow burn and there's some some uh you know things that i'm still trying to uncover about this movie that hasn't been clear to me yet on the way on the drive home uh, i've been trying to figure that out but i'll give it a solid eight out of ten it was not a bad film at all i would definitely recommend watching it if you really want a movie that um that you know uh tells a story in a very unique and different way it uses a very similar theme that we've seen in so many space movies but the way how it's reworked and used in this movie is phenomenal so anyways guys thank you so much for watching this review i hope you enjoyed it uh, i'm not going to do a spoiler version because this movie is a few days after premiere so i'm not really going to do a spoiler review for it but again i really love brad pitt in this movie and his utilization of his face and his emotions to tell the story was very good brad pitt did a really good job i can definitely see him in the runnings for an oscar for best performance or best actor in the film um so i can definitely see that but thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one make sure to subscribe if this is your first time watching the channel clockmaster out